it's very clear that if people get some kind of educational opportunity and then are able to link it to employability, they can get out of poverty. I I've seen it happen again and again. This is the mission, uh, meaningful learning credentials and work for every adult, linking adult learners to the labor market and linking them to education and um, enabling them to be employable for a lifetime. My name is Pamela Tate, and I'm the president and CEO of Kale, which is the Council for Adult and Experiential Learning. Kale tries to link learning and work and remove the barriers to adults for their lifelong learning so that they can be educated and employable. My brother, who went to the Vietnam War uh, and then came back, and tried to start college on the GI Bill. And he was not a successful college student. He ended up never finishing. And I saw the effect on my brother of not finishing a post-secondary education. The failure of institutions to understand the job market, what was possible for people, how to link their education with the world of work, and how many people were disadvantaged like my brother had been. And that really got me interested in this field. And so I joined the organization and I realized that it really had a mission that resonated with what I had come to believe was really important, the sort of investment in human potential. I want to note that when we started, um, we were assisting people already in college. That's when I became involved, uh, when we began reaching workers not yet in school. We began to get revenue from companies and unions who wanted to help their workforce get back into college or learn to learn, um, you know, just basic skills in many cases. So we began to actually move into the employer marketplace and uh, to start generating substantial fee for service revenue. And then, we started um, getting more industry revenue, helping establish pipeline programs to bring young people into um, a, a combination of work and learning. To the point where by, the, by about 2006, we were 80% fee-for-service funded and 20% foundation funded. I think success for me is also gonna be measured in the kind of system change that we are trying to make at the policy level in, in the world of employers, in the world of colleges and universities and adult education providers. For example, lack of financial aid policy for the part-time worker. If you are not taking six credits, you cannot get financial aid. Most of the adults that we serve can never manage to take more than one course at a time because of all the other responsibilities of their lives. So none of them are eligible for federal student aid and they need it the most. The changing of institutional systems and, and public policy at the federal and the state level and even corporate policy, these are all essential to our work. But foundations don't pay for those. Um, that kind of policy advocacy work is really something that we have to find money for. I do believe that education is one of the key interventions that get people out of poverty. It seems to me that it's a major intervention that we should be investing in. We are seeing the effect of institutions having to change their ways and having working adults understand the need for skills and training in a way they never have before and seeing that employers are starting to care about these issues because it affects their bottom line. So we're in a perfect time to have an impact on this issue more than at any time in my whole professional career.